Um, to the question of where are the DSD recordings, uh, you know, we have lots of DSD recordings because SSCD uses DSD files. So they have, over the last 10 years, uh, you know, a lot of recordings have been produced. But you have to ask a little bit, you know, how these recordings have been produced. Unfortunately, some of them have been uh, transcoded you know, from PCM to DSD. And that kind of defeats the purpose or doesn't give you the full advantage of DSD uh, as a format. Um, audio file labels, and there's lots of them. Uh, you know, uh, Cookie is right here and she can tell you more about that. They have very good um, DSD recordings and they're starting to make them available not as SSCD releases but as downloads. And uh, I, I guess you're going to talk about this more in, in detail. Um, Speaking of downloads, um, I uh, assumed you know, a, a three minute song and a five megabit uh, per second internet connection, which is pretty fast. And how long does it take you to download um, Redbook and uh, 2FS uh, or, or uh, 4FS or 8FS uh, PCM versus DSD? And you can see that, you know, if you go more than 2FS PCM, the times, the download times become fairly significant. And that's only for one three minute song. Uh, look at, at DSD and the time is very comparable to 2FS PCM, but it's very bit efficient and uh, you know, get, gets you a lot more resolution and uh, dynamic range than 2FS PCM. So as a result of that, I can see that DSD is becoming, you know, a fairly important player in the download business and Cookie uh, can tell you more about this also. Uh, in terms of playback uh, equipment, uh, there are many DACs out there already that uh, claim you know, they can receive DSD and playback DSD, but again you have to be critical and ask the question, what is happening inside that DAC? How do you treat DSD? Uh, a lot of DAX uh, converted to PCM before it goes into the convert the actual conversion chip or the conversion process inside the DAC, and that has to do with the fact that a lot of chips, uh, chipsets, and you know, DAC chipsets cannot do DSD directly. They only have PCM inputs. Um, playback designs in you know, my company. Uh, we, uh, we treat DSD natively and convert without any detour to DSD, there's other, uh, to analog, there's other manufacturers as well. Um, there's uh, a variety more and more coming up that can do DSD and DSD at 2x, uh, that's double rate DSD. Um, we also have a variety of uh, playback software for Mac and PCs uh, that can file, that can play uh, DSD files natively and uh, play them back and uh, don't do any uh, conversion to PCM, play them directly out to uh, the output of the external DAC. Uh, speaking of external DAC, how do you uh, connect it? Um, thanks to the DOP, and sorry this is a little bit small to read, but thanks to the DOP <coughs> standard which uh, you know, a bunch of manufacturers uh, got together and standardized on, uh, we can uh, use any PCM link, uh, ASC, BU, SPD for USB, whatever, uh, to uh, uh, play also DSD files. So we can use AES and SPDIF, uh, HDMI if necessary, and, uh, and play DSD as well. Those, those three interfaces here typically have the disadvantage that the DAC cannot be set up as the clock master. And that's something you really, really want to do because if not, you're going to suffer and compromise the quality uh, right from the beginning. Um, USB is standard on every PC, on every computer, and on every Mac. Uh, you don't have to pay extra. It is very universal. It can ship uh, uh, DSD data and audio data, video, your expense report. It doesn't matter. You know, it, it, it doesn't care. And uh, that's the beauty of it, and it's bi-directional, so we can use it to ship the clock from the DAC to the PC and the data from the PC to the DAC, and that's exactly what we want. So really the only 
disadvantage of the USB is it has limited cable length, but you can overcome that also by having an encode decode uh, equipment you know, from USB to Ethernet and then from Ethernet to USB. And with that U uh, uh, Ethernet CAT5 cable, you can run around the block and no problem. Um, Firewire is also, it's very similar to USB, but it's becoming less and less popular. And, uh, you know, in my view here, USB kind of becomes the established standard you know, for high resolution file playback, including DSD from, from PC. There's a lot more information, and I published a, a paper, a white paper on DSD uh, about six months ago in various uh, magazines. You can download it on those two uh, websites. If you uh, have any further questions, we'll open the panel.